So, the kid lives by himself with 10 sisters. He's only 11 years old and he wants to be special too. I feel bad for him. I gather indeed, with all those sisters, he doesn't feel like he's special anymore. It's like he's a part of their shadows. It's like he's never wanted to be a part of the family again. I feel like he needs someone special to help him. Indeed, we must talk to him tomorrow after school. Guys, why are you doing here so early, and why are you, like, mad at me? Lincoln, care to explain where have you been after we were at the baseball game? What do you mean? I was here the whole time. Dude, you can't exactly mysteriously disappear out of nowhere. You have a life here at home. Not to mention school. Homework. Adoring fans. Fans, yeah right, I don't care about the fans, they always like you and they'll always been. Not like they're in love with me or anything, they'll always love you. Now, what are you nine gonna do about it? Lincoln has already been kicked out of the house. Not just only that, a shadow creature is coming to him. We have no time to waste. Monkeys, mobilize. Great. This is just great. This day couldn't get any worse. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Lincoln, are you okay? We need to get you out of here right now. We made it back, right, Antari? Antari? Leave him alone, you shadow beast! And just what do you think you're gonna do, dumb white-haired boy? You and I are gonna have a showdown. Take this. Lincoln, are you okay? We heard that you were attacked by a shadow creature and we came to help. Where is it anyway? He's right over there where I punched him hard. Thanks, Lincoln. You go run back to the Super Robot while we help protect Antari. This is my fault. If I had been warned Antari, he couldn't have got himself hurt. Maybe I'm not good enough to be a member of the Hyperforce. Lincoln? Oh, hey Antari, what you doing up here? I could ask you the same thing. Not good. Ever since you got me to the Super Robot, I feel like it was my fault that I didn't help you. Now, I didn't warn you, and I feel bad for myself. Lincoln, look at me. Lincoln, look at me for once, you young man. Forgive my anger. Anyways, you did the right thing to do. You saved me, didn't you? That gives you strong enough for the power primate to choose you. How was I supposed to tell that you need to bake it before you cook it? 
It's not the right thing to fight over food. That's just hilarious. Okay, very funny, Lincoln. Everyone is now laughing now. I wonder how my sisters are doing back home.